Hey guys, it's Matt, director of Tasty Rooms at Europa Village Winery. Hope you're all doing well today. Like so many of you, uh, we are staying safer at home, but that doesn't mean you can't come and get some of your favorite wines from us for curbside pickup, or we've got some great delivery specials. And we want to stay connected, so we're going to do some virtual wine tasting with you, talk a little bit about some of my favorite wines. So today we're going to try a wine called Primitivo. Now Primitivo is a grape that originates in southern Italy, a place called Puglia. Right across the Adriatic Sea, there's another grape that's popular in Croatia called Surljanac, and you guys might have heard of Zinfandel as well before too. Turns out the three are genetically identical, and we can't quite trace the roots exactly for where it got its start, but our root stock for this Primitivo comes directly originally from Puglia, which is why we can call it Primitivo. Now, Primitivo is a wine that is in love with meat. Properly Italian, you want to do this one with prosciutto. But let's talk a little bit about tasting. We'll taste this one together using our methods. So we're going to take a look at the color. We're going to swirl that wine, get that air in there, bring out that wonderful aroma and flavor by swirling. We're adding more air and really bringing it out. This one fairly light in color, nice limpid cherry. Um, see right through it, so no cloudiness, nothing there. Let's put our nose in. Oh, this one is so delicious. You get that wonderful uh, candy cherry, brown sugar, smoke. Mmm, so lovely. It's got like a little uh, orange preserve, even a little maple syrup on. Now I'm making myself hungry. Let's taste this one. Mmm, and for those of you watching, I'm not just swirling around my mouth to make funny faces. Actually doing that has the same effect as aerating the wine in the glass. We're bringing air into our palate. We're tasting more aromas and flavors. Now this wine really has a great balance to it. Um, it's rich and bold and powerful, but it doesn't overwhelm you with tannin, um, which is that dry, slightly bitter puck you get at the back of your palate. Uh, we talked a little bit about that uh, sometimes before. It's a little bit like when you drink black coffee or Earl Grey tea, kind of makes your throat close up a little bit, feel that uh, tight. And there's a moderate acidity to this one too. It's making your mouth water on the front of your tongue. This one really brings those same flavors across. I really get a big hint of that brown sugar, um, those candy, jellied fruits, almost like a fruit cake, but in a good way. Um, this one's really bold, still staying with me. Long finish. Um, like I said, this is something that's really gonna call for some traditional Italian fare. Uh, prosciutto, like I said, be excellent. A little mushroom risotto would be a fantastic choice as well. Um, if you've got the time, you've got the patience, Brazenoso Buco, bring a few friends over. This is a great one to enjoy with it. Um, just one of my favorite wines. This one's all grown on our estate here in Temecula Valley. Um, all hand harvested, really specially made wine. And you know, like I said, guys, we are doing a safer at home right now. I want to make sure that everybody's staying safe out there, but enjoying your favorite wines. So make sure you check out our website. We've got some amazing shipping specials. You get a case together, the shipping is free, and you can get up to 45% off on your purchases. So want to get your favorite wines at home, or come stop by the winery. We've got daily pickups uh, every day right now uh, out front of our cave. Come on over. We'll get you set with some of your favorite wines. Thank you so much for being part of the Europa family, and cheers!